What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chimp back bringing you guys some showdown live, and today I'm gonna be using a band sand team. If you guys don't know what band sand is, uh, prepare yourself because you might be a little overwhelmed. So, Tyranitar Venusaur, I really hope he's not using uh, Sandstorm on his teeth, or otherwise it's gonna be really, really bad for him. And, uh, Garchomp is uh, a little bit annoying for my team. I don't know if he's gonna lead out with it. Um, so I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to lead out with my, I'll lead out with this. Hmm, I don't know. Titar or Hippo. Hippo can knock out his Garchomp in one hit probably with Ice Fang. Yeah, let's lead out with Hippo. Venusaur. Venusaur, Venusaur. Let's go out to Ferrothorn here and then double out into... Landorus. That's a play, guys. That is a play that I'm very confident in. I think Bandit Crunch to it kills Skarmory, so I could go for Crunch there, or I could go for Stone Edge to do even more damage and then force a switch out into Garchomp, but I don't really know about that. So, I could go to Lando. When I go to Lando, I'm going to U-turn on the Skarmory, and then, yeah, Skarmory's annoying, so... I think I don't even U-turn. Yeah, U-turn, I... U-turn, then I crunch. Unless the AC fires here, which will be really bad. Yes! 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 Actually, I could do a ton of damage to this thing right here, but uh, this thing is not really a problem. It's not really that big of a problem. Like, it's only a problem if he comes in on... Quag or Hippo, otherwise I can deal with it really really well. It's not gonna stay in. Oh my gosh, he stayed in. Who does that? Who does that play? Yep, gone. Why is he not gone? Why are you... How much did you turn to? Turned in 41 with a crit. What is this? No, I'll, I'll jar ball again. I'll jar ball again. No worries. No worries. Ah, uh, if he switches out the scar, that's really bad, isn't it? <gasps> nope. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Okay, so this will be really, really good for his clef, but this entire team is banded. So I don't know if I'm going to be really worried about. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Venusaur. Titoir. He has to go for Giga Drain. Gone. Can I Stone Edge? I don't want to Stone Edge. I really don't want to Stone Edge. I'm going to Crunch. Gone. Hopefully he goes at the Skarm here. Yeah, this is this is what I was saying, guys. Like, you're just gonna get overwhelmed by Band Sand, okay? Okay. Goes to Titar here. Titar here. Let's go out into Ferrothorn. GG Quagsar wins. Huh? Yeah, I gotta stack Ferrothorn because uh, it gets outsped by everything either way, and it can't do anything to Skarmory. Like, I guess I can explosion on the Skarmory, but even then, what's that? What's that gonna do, man? What's that explosion gonna do? Crunch. Alrighty. I don't think Waterfall does anything to any Pokemon on this team. I get the Intimidate off, so that's pretty nice. Like, so I can go out to a different Pokemon a little bit easier. And so he goes up to Skarm. Like, all I need is... It's like some decent damage on this thing. So I'm going to Stone Edge here. Uh, he might expect a Fire Blast or something. Stone... Okay, no Roost. Nice! <laughs> nice. Now all I have to do is hit this Edge. And I'm in a great position. Okay, Excadrill is... The winner! Or even this guy. 
but I guess I go out to Quag here because I still need this sand right now. Nah, I'll edge. I'll edge him out. I'm really fortunate I haven't missed any stone edges. Really, really fortunate. I don't think Flamethrower kills from Clef, so I'm just gonna Earthquake. I also am Water Absorbed, so if if this Manaphy doesn't have uh, Energy Ball, I destroy it. But I can't switch out here. Um, that crit might have mattered, I don't know. We'll see. Um, my Banded Earthquake is gonna knock that out. And uh, Band Sand wins the game. So I really depend on his uh, man if he said because I'm pretty sure it was going to be able to take an earthquake from a banner extra drill. Like if he was offensive, uh, like he needed to have energy ball that's for sure because if he didn't have energy ball Quacksire was going to beat it. Earthquake definitely does over 50%. Really surprised Earth Ban and Earthquake only did like 70%, 60-70% to the Clefable. Ooh, some more victims for Ban Sand. Hopefully he doesn't lead out with Scizor. Don't lead out with Scizor, otherwise I'm gonna have to switch. Everything else I literally stay in on. T-Tar, Talon, I, maybe not staying on T-Tar. Actually, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Why does he have a T-Tar? Like, he has to be Scar T-Tar. Doesn't make any other sense. Because he's using Venusaur. Yes. Go ahead and get him with a Crunchinator. Scald, don't burn. Life Orb, Scald. Interesting. Alright, so he's not running HP investment. That did quite a bit of damage, though. So... Gotta watch out for that. He goes out to Clefable here. Let's... Man, I don't want to get bought by a... Uh... I need this for a Talon, but I have this for Talon. I have this somewhat for Talon. I don't have recovery on anything, so... Let's go to Quag. Scizor. Nice. Earthquake. He turns. So I'm gonna double edge? Earthquake. To it, Gil. Got him. Got him. There's no way you recover here. There's actually a way he recovers. Oh my, no. Making the real man play. He's gonna switch out. He's gonna switch out. He's gonna switch out. If you if you will it, if you will it, guys, he's gonna switch out. Yes. Yes. Do I stone edge or crunch here? Do I stone edge or crunch here is the question. Crunch to it kills Clef. Crunch doesn't do anything to his T-Tar. I'm not worried. I'll crunch here. The thing is, if he willows, I don't, like, crunch is not the best play. But I, I don't want to miss. Like, I've been getting really fortunate with the stone edges, and my luck is going to run out eventually. Tailwind? Perfect. Perfect. Sandstorm subsided? No problem. I do have, uh, Landorus. So, Landorus is definitely going to put in a lot of work here, because it's banded, of course. And, uh, let's see here. What is he going to do? I don't really need Quag. Quag is actually a liability. Considering he has a Venusaur that can Giga Drain up on it, I don't really want to go out into it that much. So yeah, Quag is kind of a liability. Goes out to T-Tar. What is this play? You really want a set of rocks? Pers Why am I switching? <laughs> oh my gosh, Van Sand is coming through, guys. Banzan is coming through. That's all I gotta say. He goes out to Venusaur. 
Uh, I can earthquake that, but I kind of... I'd rather stay... Uh, I'd rather keep this healthy for the scissor, so I'm going to crunch here. It'll do around 50%, right? Yeah. Defense fall, unfortunately. Lead seed? Gone. He's gone. I'll see you next time, dude. Um, I don't really want to stay in, though, because... You know, that's fine. Like, I, it doesn't really matter. The reason why I didn't want to stay in was because in case he switched out to Clef. Uh, but that's fine, yeah. I should be able to outspeed this. If he goes for a bullet punch, that's whatever. Super Ooh, he actually outspeeds more. So this this is not Scarf because uh, I did way too much damage to the Quagsire. And I think this is going to be my last game. Uh, because I tried doing this upload a lot uh, earlier today. And definitely didn't work out that well. So, Earthquake that, and this this has to be choice, right? U-turn did way too much. So, let's see if it outspeeds my uh, landers here. Either way, I don't think he can really do too much. Yep. And that... <laughs> Van Sand has a great matchup against Venusaur. That's all. That's what we learned today. So, hope you guys enjoy the showdown live. Leave a like. Definitely appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.